So like we always say, don't let the underdog surprise you. But if you remember in 2000 guineas when we had interviewed Chayna Feather, he, he seemed not very keen on his charge performing too well but came up with a smashing run and finished on third and would have finished on second to East but just lost that position by a head if I'm not wrong. So this time we're going to grill him a little bit more to get the actual, the actual feel of what he feels and how the protectors going to run in the Calcutta derby. So no more hiding, no, no more playing the underdog. <laughs> no, uh, I, I feel that the horses really uh, come on from the last uh, race that he ran, and uh, I'm quite hopeful that he should, you know, uh, pick up a good performance. The only cause of concern will be the distance part of it, and uh, but he's doing everything right. He's working well, um, and uh, he's had. Uh, his last workout was also very really decent. So now I just lift it to my destiny. So, the, you know, the derby has been shifting dates. It was supposed to be on the 9th yeah. and now it's on the 12th. Do you think that extension has helped you maybe tune him up a little bit more to be there to finish? Uh, uh, as far as uh, protective goes, uh, his last workouts have been quite decent. And uh, he has come on well. But then... The, Advantage and the disadvantage is also there that you know the, the long gap mm-hmm. between the yeah. So let's let's see how how it but it's gonna be the, the same for all of us. So. so we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And we wish to see you, you know, repeat the performance and maybe better it as I well. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> so that's Fezel for you with the protector. We wish him all the best.